What's up guys, I'm Johnny Valentine with Gain Solar. I'm a licensed electrician and an ABSEP certified installer in the state of Georgia. And I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about this uh, PV system I'm servicing. Uh, a lot of people inherit uh, systems from previous homeowners. They don't know anything about it. I'm gonna show you just how to gather basic information so when you call somebody to look at it or fix it, you can actually tell them what you have. So we're gonna start off with the really obvious and we're gonna go from there. This is a ground mount system. Obviously each one of the actual squares, some people call them, well, they'll, they don't know what to call it, but this is your solar module or solar panel. Uh, you would count these up and that'd be how many panels you have. On this one he has eight panels per array. So an array is one group of panels. That's one, two, three, four, five. So the eight times five, that's 40. Next thing we'll go to is the back of the module. Go ahead and head over there. On the back of the panel, there's almost always going to be a sticker that tells you the, what the uh, model number and power rating of the module is. So this is OPT245, also says right there, max power 245 watts. So the next thing you would do is multiply 245 by 40. Remember there were eight panels, so 245 by 40, and that's going to give you the kilowatt power output of the solar array. So now you know. You have a ground mount, you have eight, you have uh, 40, 245 watt panels, you have Ceneva OPT 245 watt modules, right? There it says that. Um, so the next thing you're gonna be looking for is the inverter type of the system. Uh, you're either gonna have small devices behind every single module. If there's something behind every panel and this thing that's glued to the panel, this is a junction box for the solar module. It's part of the module. But if there's something similar to this and it's dangling off of the rail, this is the rail, or if it's uh, mounted on the module, then you might have microinverters. Um, you could also have uh, power optimizers if it's a solar edge system, microinverters if it's an Enphase or one of the other brands. This particular system has two string inverters. These are the two string inverters. This is where the power going back to the power company starts. This is AC power. But these two string inverters, the next thing you would want to do is look at your string inverter. Okay, look for stickers. If you've got a sticker, there's so much information in this sticker. Now you know your serial number, you know the model of your inverter, you know, you know all about it now. So just in this short little bit of time, you can figure out what you have. This is an SMA system. It's got 40, 245 watt modules. It's got two SMA inverters. The SMA inverters are SB5000s. So that's the model number. And then right here, I can keep going down this spec sheet. I can find out what the max continuous output power, 5000 watts AC. So all this is easy to see. On this particular system, it was actually showing a code. It was saying GFDI fuse open. Let's knock on it. There it says GFDI fuse open. Popped the cover. Went straight to the fuse. Tested the fuse, whether just tested to see if it had continuity. It did not, so I know the fuse is blown. So now I've got the, the problem is fixed. And I'm gonna order some more of these fuses, put them in and see if it'll fix the system. Thanks for watching this video. I know it's very basic, but some people need a basic video every now and then. So if this video helps you, please like and subscribe. If you're having issues with a solar system and you don't know anything about it, you can contact me through YouTube or you can contact me at my information I'm going to put at the end of this video. And um, if you're local, I can come out there and check it out. Otherwise, we could even do a service call with pictures and uh, video over the internet. So let me know. Johnny Valentine with Gain Solar. Thank you.